Good for it. Congratulations, it's such a fun and explosive film. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Um, I was wondering what your first reaction was when you received the script. Um, I was excited, like personally I was excited because it's rare in Hollywood to I think find a really strong female character. I mean, there's they're few and far between. Yeah. So the way that Lady J was written, I was very excited to uh, get a chance to play her because she she's a tough cookie. Yeah. yeah. I, I was a fan of G.I. Joe since I was a very little kid. Um, so when I, f my first reaction was I was excited that they, they wanted to kind of refocus the feel of it. And this mm. movie felt a little bit more dirty, a little bit more realistic. Yeah. You know what I mean? It felt more uh, faithful to, to, the, to the franchise. So yeah. that got me really excited. Yeah. Were you a fan of the figurines or as well? As all of it. Take your pick. It. Pajamas, <laughs> figurines, like he still is. lunchbox, he still all of it, yeah. How about you? Uh, I, I loved uh, G.I. Joe growing up. I have a big brother, and yeah. so everything that he did, I wanted to do. So he read the comic books, yeah. I read the comic books, he watched the cartoon, I watched the cartoon, and I stole his action figures from him. It's messed up. Yeah. It's not right. He still hasn't forgiven me. He shouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't either. <laughs> um, well, if you could play any G.I. Joe character other than the ones you played, so tough. who would you choose? Jinx. So tough. Jinx was my favorite. I yeah. like to play with her. Cause, I mean, who doesn't want to be a ninja? Yeah. I still want to be a ninja. Oh, man. I got it. Uh -huh. Barbecue. He's not in the movie. You would be barbecue, really? Yeah, barbecue. He's got the mask. He's got like a, uh, he's got a flamethrower. Barbecue. That is cool. He does have a flamethrower. Okay. Yeah. And his name's Barbecue, so that's yeah. more yeah. exciting. Yeah. I think anyone. Anything uh, related yeah. to barbecue is clearly yeah. a good choice. Yeah. Okay? So, <laughs> I'm right. Um, well, I can imagine that working alongside such big names as Dwayne Johnson and Bruce Willis would have been amazing. Um, how was it working with them, and did they offer you any lifelong tips? <laughs> yeah, John, uh, Dwayne, Dwayne was, uh, you know, when in doubt, apply baby oil. Yes. I learned that lesson. Make, yes. make your muscles look big. Exactly. I glistened. Um, you know, it was it was nerve wracking before. I think we met them. You know, it's like this huge deal. They're such big celebrities, and you know, we grew up idolizing both of them. And um, but the minute you meet both, they're so funny and so goofy and charming. You just yeah. completely forget all of that stuff, and they become your buddies. Yeah. You know, they're Dwayne, real people. Yeah. Dwayne's so famous and, and, and such an intimidating character, but to watch the way he relates to people, uh, all people around him, was really, really inspiring mm -hmm. and humbling. Like, he's a, he has time for everyone. He's very kind and respectful to absolutely Genuine. everyone. And, and like, just as a man, I, you know, I look up to him. Mm. Great. And, um, what was your favorite scene in, in the film? To watch or to shoot? All right. Uh, watching, I have to say, it, it's it's probably obvious because it's so cool. But the Himalayan mountain scene, yeah. they were working on it for so long, and then to finally see what they did, it was just it was fantastic. Uh, That's one of my favorites. And then also when Fireflies introduced, when he break into the prison, because he has the coolest, sickest motorcycle ever, <laughs> and I was really excited to see that come yeah. to life. Shooting, I I don't know. I weirdly like the desert stuff because it yeah. it was it was a brutal shoot. It was so hot. But it was the things, we, the stuff we did in the beginning, and it sucked so much to shoot. It made us all become really friendly, like yes. friends, really quickly. So yeah. I, I like that. Yeah. Had that been earlier on in the shooting? That was like, yeah, it was like our first, first week. week. Yeah. Oh, wow. yeah, we bonded quickly. Yeah. <laughs> Real quick. Yeah. And um, speaking a little bit about your characters, um, what would you say is the best characteristic of your character? Um, hmm. Well, good question. That is a good question. Lady J is so, so cool with weapons. Like I love that about her. I, I think I would have to go with like her knowledge of weapons. Yeah. For Flint, um, I think potential. You know, I, I mean, the, the character is pretty well known in GI Joe, and mm -hmm. it's cool because we introduced him as a, a little bit younger in this one, and we, we're going to see him grow into that to, into that person. So I think watching the 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 him having to learn his lessons the hard way and, and slowly become the, the type of leader that he will eventually was, was cool. And would you, um, do you think you share um, 
any characteristics of yours? Uh, way too many. Way too many? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Stubbornness, like, yeah, not, like, wanting to do things your own way. Not uh, being told what to do. Not being told what to do, authority problems, yeah, it's, it's, it's an issue. And out of the two of you, who is better at us? Yeah. And agreeing. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> <sure>. <laughs> and um, what's next for you two after GHO? Um, I have a comedy coming out this year called Coffee Town, which mm -hmm. is really funny. And uh, then some, some other stuff in the works that I yeah, can't talk about yet. Yeah. yeah, same deal. Knocking on doors, waiting for the job to get finalized, not wanting to jinx anything. Okay. Knock wood somewhere. <laughs> Knock camera. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Thank you. <laughs> And um, if you could sum up GHO retaliation in one word, what would that word be? Perfect. Explosive. Explosive. Know much about where I'm from, but I know it's right there everywhere I come. Government Let's get to work. So I wear my gun. I really want to rock and rush, but I'm too young. This gonna give me courage not to fear no one, to feel no pain and hear no tongue. So I hear no screams and I shed no tears. The president says they can't come out of retirement. They didn't say anything about re-enlisting.